I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I'll greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. Do you believe the Saxon Lord? Is Uba really dead? I... A few survivors found their way to us. The great man is gone. The last vestiges of Ragnar's legacy begin to fade. Giedrich, after Rochester. I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. I would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the Drunken Ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. There, love. You have come again at my call. I have. But this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stoll, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. But here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother, sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. Now I need to get back to the here, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delight be ours, then. We have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready and my heart stout. Tefder, it is good to see you. Oh, I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god-whipped boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bands fight. I am all a-quiver with anticipation. There you are, Raven. Luffin, my old friend. And I see you have convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all the glory for herself. Ljuvina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. You, Eivor, a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of rare, I hope the death will you be... You soft-cheeked Anglo boy. I know. Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Vili, what tales are you weaving for these soft-down Saxons? Do not make me regret supporting your Yaldum. Eivor, you know I will take your childhood scrapes and secrets to the pyre. 
Good. I would hate for something to happen to you in the coming fight. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother and my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we will feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boy. This last of Have you brought your mother to me? My mother is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt. Begin to I see those we have lost many fireblocks. This land has sucked. Eivor, you made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Erke and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village! Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guard! Get to the village and wait for my signal! Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. Show me what lies ahead. of Wessex from my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Wareham? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, 
all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. <laughs> we could have been allies, but now you'll fall by my sword. I will never bow to Alfred. A dog! You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That I cannot allow. Uh. 